Welcome to NHL Draft Pros. In this video, I'll be doing a scouting report on Pavel Minchikov, and I'll go over some stats and break down game highlights to see what makes him a top-rated prospect for the 22 NHL Draft. If you enjoy the content, can you please subscribe and hit the like button to help the channel grow? Thank you. Pavel Minchikov is a smooth-skating offensive defenseman who plays for the Saginaw Spirit in the OHL. He hails from Moscow, Russia, and is listed at 6 foot 1 and a half, 192 pounds. Now let's look at his draft rankings. NHL Central Scouting has him at number 6 for North American skaters in their final rankings. TSN Bob McKenzie has him at number 16. FC Hockey at number 20. Sportsnet 13. McKean's 13. And Elite Prospects at number 7. Here's a quote from the NHL Central Scouting. Minchikov is a strong skater and confident puck carrier. Active and always looking to push the pace. Jumps into and often leads the attack. Separates man from puck with strength to win battles. Excellent shot of all types with a heavy one-timer. Next are stats. And he put up some great numbers registering 62 points in 67 games with 17 goals and 45 assists as a defenseman. He had a points per game of .93 and was third in the entire CHL among defensemen behind only Denton Matejchuk and Kevin Korczynski. If we compare his points per game in the OHL against other notable players in their draft year, we can see that his .93 points per game were pretty decent. Jamie Drysdale, the 6th overall pick in the 2020 NHL Draft, had .96 during his draft year. Aaron Ekblad, .91. Next are his advanced stats. And if we look at his points per 60 in all situations, he had a 2.20, which is really nice. His assist per 60 in all situations was 1.61. His expected goals was 17, so he broke even there. And if you look at his accurate pass percentage, that was 90%. Really good. Next, we're going to break down some game highlights and go through his skating, shooting, passing, puck control, hockey IQ, compete level, and what he needs to improve on. All right, the first thing is skating. And like I said, he's a pretty decent skater. And you're going to see in some clips here that he can motor pretty good. So in this one here, you're going to see that he loses a puck, but then he back checks really hard and he actually catches the one forward to break up a two on one. So let's watch it again. So in slow motion here, so you see he loses the puck, but then he boots it right down there and knocks away that two on one attempt. This one here, you're going to see that he actually picks up a pass and then he is gone. Two on one. He's the defenseman here and he's leading the rush. So nice little break up there. So let's watch it again in slow motion. So he's watching, he's watching, intercepts the pass and then he is gone. Nice long stride, and then uh, tries to make a nice little sauce there, but uh, a little too high. This one here, you're going to see, same thing, he loses the puck, and then he's going to retrieve it here. And this, this, this clip here, we're going to see some edge work. So he, he moves pretty good, like effortless skating right there, and you're going to see. Nice little turn there, and he keeps it in, nice little pass across. So decent skating for sure. Shooting. All right, I love the shooting. So the first one here, right off the faceoff, he's going to get the puck right here, and he's going to walk in, and boom! Top cheese. Oh, yeah. Let's watch that in slow motion again. So he retrieves the pass right here. He walks in, comes in right at the circle there, and then just wires it right over his shoulder. Nice shot. See from a different angle, close up, and boom, right over the shoulder. Beauty. This one here is going to intercept the pass. He's going to take it in, and he's just going to beat the goalie one-on-one. -on -one. Nice shot, five-hole. Thank you very much. Let's watch this again in slow motion. So he picks up the puck, walks in, and he just beats him. Close up. Boom. This one, he's out of view, but watch this. He's going to tee up a one-timer right here. And here it comes. Boom. And it's in the net. Thank you very much. Number 15 there, Jervy, a friend of mine's kid. Nice pass. Boom. We'll be making a video on him on next year. All right. Passing. Another good strong suit of his is that uh, he's always got his head up. Watch this one right here. Catches the player in the slot there. A nice shot there. But watch that pass. It was pretty impressive. All right. This one here, he's going to pick it up. It's going to end up in the corner here. And he's going to battle. He's going to win the battle. And he's going to slide it right across the goal. What a goal. It's a nice pass right across the crease. Empty netter. Close up here. So wins the battle. And then nice little dish out front. What a pass. Good heads up move. All right, this one here, same thing. So we kind of lose him here 
behind this little advertisement, but he slides it right across for the one timer and it's in the net. So watch this. Boom. In the net. Nice pass. So another thing that he's got pretty good hands, got good puck control, can control it pretty well. So there, dishes it off and he gets it back. Watch this. Right through the legs and then puts a move on the goalie. Holy, what a goal. Watch this again. Takes it in. His skating is really nice. See that? Boom, boom, and it's in. Nice moves. Nice puck control on the fly. This one here, he intercepts a pass. He puts a little drag on uh, the one defense and puts it home. Thank you very much. Let's watch this again in slow motion. So he picks up the puck here. One-on-one -on -one with the D. Oh, right by him, and then boom, right through in the net. Thank you. Close up, why not? They slow it down here. Watch this. Oh, a nice move to get out of the way of that check. Perfect. All right, this one here, he's going to pick up the pass. This one here, we're going to show, he's going to take it into the zone, and he's going to deke around a few guys here. Nice edge work with the skating. Keeps his head up, head up, and then protects the puck, puts it to net, rebounded in. All right, IQ. So I took the IQ from one game and uh, picked out the things that he did. So this one here, he takes it in, doesn't have a shot, works his way around, and then slides it to the open guy in the slot, and they score. So nice heads-up play there. So like I said, he could have shot right there. Nope. Said that he didn't have a good angle. And then he puts it right in front, and they score. So nice little cerebral play there. This one here, he gets at the point. And what he does, watch, he freezes that forward. He's got a clear path, and then he shoots it, and it ends up going in. So nice little play there. So again, he didn't rush it, took his time, put it on that. And I think it gets deflected, but nevertheless, like, just freezes the, the forward there trying to block the uh, shot and nice heads up play there all right this one here defensively so he's in the defensive zone here and it looks like they're playing a man-on-man -man coverage here so he covers the d okay so look everyone's covering a man and he's got the d and you'll see it's going to come out and he's going to actually get in the uh, shooting lane here so it comes to the d and then he gets in front of the shooting lane there blocks it a little bit and then they end up getting out of the zone so nice defensive play there good heads up play by his part all right his compete level you know what i've, I've watched him in in person a couple times and he's improved tremendously throughout the year so watch this one here separate the player from the puck and they get puck possession so it's exactly what you want to do he didn't hammer him he just pinned him up against the wall watch this holds him his forward picks up the puck the support and then they're gone same here arrow here you're going to see the forward has it, and then he pins him against the wall, and his team gets the puck. So nice little play there. So you watch again. He's going to just pin him against the wall. Boom. Holds him there. His support comes in. They pick up the puck. That's exactly how you want to separate a player, and that's how you use a body. Same thing here. Another play, the exact same thing. So the player's got the puck. He puts him, pins him against the wall. Watch this. He's going to do it twice. So it pops back out. He gets him again, pins him against the wall. Great work ethic. I love it. Nice little compete on this play here. So like I said, twice. So first one, they get it. Unfortunately, they don't get it out, and then the player keeps it in, and then he pins him, and this time they get the puck. And that was a perfect play right there. All right, this one here, you're going to see, this is that one where he's back-checking, kind of showed his skating, but see how hard he worked to get back to cover that two-on-one? Nice little work ethic there. I like it. All right, what he needs to improve on. So again, sometimes, you know, the offensive players, they, they take chances. So right here, he's the last guy in. They pick it off. They go down and score. So a little bit of risk management, like I call that. So just knowing when, you know, to try to make a move and sometimes not to make. So he makes a move there, gets a little tripped up. The uh, forwards pick it off from the other team. They go down and they score. So a little risk management there. This one here, same thing. So he's got the puck. He's got a couple options. He could go up the middle. He could go off the boards. Nope. He retrieves it, but then he loses it again. And then they come in and they score. So watch this in slow motion. So right here, he's got, he'll pick up the puck right here. This is him. So look, he's got two options. He's got the middle and he's got the boards. And instead, he tries to deke that forward out. Luckily, he gets it back. But the second time, not this time, they pick it off and they go down and they score. So a little bit of risk management, like I said. Uh, this one here, a little puck watching. So he goes to tax the guy. Should have covered the uh, far guy, but he didn't. So, you know, 
again, a little puck watching sometimes. The young guys, they do this and leaves a guy all alone in the middle and they score. Same thing here. So puck watching, a little swipe, misses the check. They go down and they score. So watch, he's at the top there on the boards. He's going to kind of pinch, take a chance, pokes at it, misses. They go down and they score. So nothing, you know, little things that they can uh, work on, which is not major, but uh, he definitely improved from the beginning of the season. All right, so his strengths. Skating and edges, like I said, he can move around the ice pretty good. And with that, his puck control. So he a pretty deadly combo when you're talking about offensive defensemen. And like I said, the physicality at the beginning of the season, I, you know, he was, he was a little hesitant in terms of checking, but man, near the end, he was taking the body and looking really good. What he needs to work on, like I said, risk management. Sometimes, you know, the right play is a simple play, dump it in, pass it off. Um, so, you know, it's good to take chances, but then at, at the same time, you got you to gotta know when to take chances. And then forcing the offense, that's one thing. He's always looking for offense. Sometimes you just need to sit back, let the offense come to you. And, um, and he's trying to rush into the play sometimes when he probably should just sit back, uh, which can sometimes lead to odd man rushes. But for the most part, got better as the season progressed. All right, next video we're going to be looking at is Cutter Goche. I conducted a poll online and everyone voted for Cutter Goche. So he's going to be the next video coming up probably within a couple of days. And I'll have that out. And that's it. If there are any players from the 22 NHL draft that you'd like to see, please leave it in the comment section below. And please like and subscribe to the channel to help us grow. Cheers.